Model inspection is critical for trust in machine learning, but too often it's a messy and manual process. With score version 0.8, we make this simple and consistent. We introduce a new feature important accessor to the estimator report to help you interpret models in one line of code. Inspection helps you make sure that your model doesn't just give high scores, but actually learns meaningful patterns in the data. We have a compelling end-to-end -end example on our documentation on a regression task about predicting house prices, showing you how to evaluate and interpret models. This short demo just gives a glimpse of that example, so make sure to check it out after this demo. So now let's start the demo. This is my Jupyter Notebook. I'm using score 0.8.1. So let's load the regression data set about predicting house prices. So here, each row corresponds to a California district in 1990. We have eight numerical features that are aggregated by block group. We have the median income, the median house age, the average number of rooms per household, the average number of bedrooms per household, the population, the average number of household members, and some geospatial data, so the latitude and the longitude. The target is the median house value, which is expressed in hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some exploratory data analysis is performed in the example of the documentation. Okay. Now let's split the data into a train and test set. First, we try a linear model, so the ridge regression, with some scaling. In a previous video, we introduced the estimator report along with its metrics accessor that enables us to evaluate models. So here we get some scores for our model. So in practice, after model evaluation, we usually want to perform model inspection by looking at some feature importance. It's always recommended to look under the hood. Here, the score seems quite poor, so it must not capture the true underlying relationships in the data. Therefore, any observation drawn from the model inspection must be treated with caution. So now let's look into the helper. This helper shows us the tools that are available to us. We already had the metrics accessor in the estimator report. Score version 0.8 introduces the new feature importance accessor. And for our ridge model, we have access to the coefficients as well as the permutation feature importance. So we can easily get the coefficients of our models along with the feature names and the intercept. So this is a pandas data frame that you can easily manipulate. We can use the pandas API to display the coefficients. Here, it seems that the largest absolute values correspond to the median income as well as the geospatial data, so the latitude and the longitude. Next, after a linear model, let's try a tree-based model, the random forest. So we get our estimator report for this random forest. In a previous video, we introduced the comparison report that allows to perform a benchmark of estimators. So here we compare our previous ridge regression along with some scaling, as well as our new random forest. So we can now compare the score of our random forest with the score of our ridge model. By comparing the two of them, we can say that the ridge model is performing poorly with regards to the random forest. Hence, the ridge model is not capturing the true underlying relationships in the data, and we cannot do model inspection on the ridge model. Remember that all scores are relative. So now we know that the random forest has what corresponds to a good score, so we can interpret it. We try to understand why the random forest performs better. So let's look at the helper of our random forest regressor. We always have the metrics, and also we have our feature importance. We still have the permutation feature importance. And now for the, this tree-based model, we have access to the mean decrease in impurity, which is the MDI. So we can easily access the MDI. The MDI of a feature is how much this feature reduces the model's loss. So the higher the MDI, the more important the feature. Beware that the MDI can be misleading when features have large differences in cardinality. You can find more details in the example of the documentation. So unlike our previously poorly performing ridge model, the random forest gives a lot of importance to the average occupancy, as well as the median income and the geospatial data, so the longitude and the latitude. So the simple ridge model seems to have missed something about this important feature, which is perhaps why our random forest is performing much better than our ridge model. So we can also get the permutation feature importance, 
which is model agnostic. It works for all kinds of models. So the permutation feature importance measures the contribution of each feature to a fitted model's performance. It randomly shuffles the value of a single feature and observes the resulting degradation of the model's score. If you have a predictive feature, permuting it makes the performance decrease. If you have a non-predictive feature, permuting does not degrade the performance much. Here we permute the each feature five times to get a more robust feature importance. And this is also a pandas data frame. So we can use the pandas API to plot it. And also we can select the source. So here we are computing the permutation feature importance on the train set. And here we are computing the permutation feature importance on the test set. So the observations are quite similar to the MDI in the sense that we have the median income, the average occupancy, the latitude, and the longitude that are considered important by our random forest model. That's a wrap for this short demo. With SCORE, we hope that inspecting your models will now be easier with these one-liners. Remember to trust models, not just scores, and make sure to check out the full example in our documentation for more insights.